everybody, it's Bill from SitRep Podcast. Today I'm going to give you a quick look and review of the game Ultimate General American Revolution. Uh, this is in the same series as the game I've shown off previously, um, Ultimate General American Civil War. This one's going to obviously take place in the War of Independence between the United States, or Americas at the time, and uh, Britain. So we're going to look at it, see how it compares to um, the Amer Ultimate General Civil War. Um, I'll give you my thoughts on it and how I feel about first impression. Now remember, this is an early release. It is not the final game. So there could be a lot of changes in the future. But for now, sit back and watch as we take an adventure through the American Revolution. All right, here we are. We're going to take a look at Ultimate General American Revolution by the creators of the Ultimate General series, as you've seen before I've done the American Civil War. And now we're going to take a deep dive into Ultimate General American Revolution. So we're going to start with the campaign mode, and I'll give my thoughts along the way. Every person is born to do something great. Every day they have a choice to take a step closer to their destination or to run away. So you obviously make choices. I was the first child in the family. And we're just going to go with George. As the eldest child, I took on much of the responsibility for my younger brothers and sisters. At the age of 11, I lost my father, and the responsibility for all family affairs passed to me. Plantation management and financial matters became part of my daily routine. I spent my adolescence studying and managing the family's plantation. My mentor and older half-brother, who was like a father to me, died during our trip to Barbados. His loss affected me greatly. At the age of 20, I was appointed commander of the Virginia Militia, in part due to my organizational talents. Tensions over control of the Ohio River Valley eventually sparked the French and Indian War. I was able to apply my skilled management to help prepare my troops. We fought well, capturing several French forts, and in spite of some setbacks, we succeeded in driving out the French. My attempts to secure a commission in the army were thwarted by English officers with little respect for my... This is actually true. So I decided to resign. My next steps were... Afterwards, I ran for and was elected to the Virginia House of Burgesses. In 1774, I was elected as a delegate to the First Continental Congress in Philadelphia. There I helped secure. Tensions with England have reached a breaking point. In the near future, a confrontation will break out, and I will have to use all my experience to fight for the independence of the colonies. as we're waiting out to load. This is different from the Ultimate General Civil War one. You don't have this campaign type thing where you're gonna do asset management and technology trees and whatnot. And so you have this map, and as you scroll through the map, you can see the fog of war um, areas. And here is where I'm starting out of. So it's very compressed map 
and then it'll give you like tasks you got to do hire new generals to me first impression is that this seems more age of empires than it did like i felt that i was actually simulating battle and combat in the civil war version than i do in this one this seems more like higher level you know i'm as of right now, it's it's interesting to play. I don't know if it holds my attention like the other one does. So you get these things. Uh, Patriots have stored available military supplies, small town of Concord. So we're going to have the Battle of Lexington Concord. Uh, so we're going to go with, I'm going to help guide this battle. And you don't have the Battle Bunker Hill yet. So as you can see, I don't know if this map is genuine to the actual geographical area that this was fought over, um, but, and that's partially my fault. So as you can see, they, they give you little hints here and show you, this is where the ammo and ammunition and everything is stored that you need to protect from the British. And then you see where all the Patriots are gonna come in and then go from there. So, you click on them, it tells you Concord Militia, Made in Militia. I'm assuming those are all historical based. Um, you can control the screen by the mouse, or you can do it by the keyboard, or you can just point on an area. So, as you can see, we have all these British guys coming. And it's very. So actually, I want these guys to hold here. And I, if you barely move the mouse, it changes their formation. So we'll put those guys there. We got another company coming here. We're gonna put them here. So, and then we'll go back to this battle. I don't know where these guys are going. And you can zoom out. In the beginning, the British are very good at obviously rushing the line. And I'm gonna pull these guys back. These guys are taking their sweet time getting here. Now all those guys have fallen back. I'm going to have them hold their ground. And I have another unit coming. And then you can see more troops coming. And then we'll go into the battle itself. can zoom in to see the battle if you wish as you can see there's more militia coming as soon as those other guys get here Taking them forever and a day to get here. And we might just have these guys fall back. Do this again. And I'm going to have those guys hold. Everybody's going to hold the line.
And see they're getting routed. I'm gonna have this unit hold the line. And you'll start seeing a lot of troops coming in. And I'll just let them come up naturally because there's not much I can do with them. And I'm gonna have those guys hold right here. See if I can stop these guys right where they're at. And two. Come on. Now you lose units. It's unfortunately a fact of life. And we have those reinforced the supply deep. Depot. We got this unit over here. We got this unit here. It's falling back. And this battle basically is just attrition. Who, who can outlast who? As he, we'll see. I'm gonna have these guys fall back. And these guys. back. Up, oh, they're gonna engage. Not do anything with them, they've been routed. You can see the British are charged and trying to capture the ammunition. But we have all these guys coming. Have them hurry the hell up. guys back. Hey, we routed the British. It's awesome. Got two more militias coming in. Three more, maybe. Oh, several units. We're going to put those guys right here. We're going to try and flank. Can't see him yet. Now I can. All right, let's go to the heat of the battle. Exhausted guys will fall back. They're going to fall back on their own. We have more guys coming. Like I said, it's basically a battle control. And these these guys over here are just going to hold the hell out. We're going to pull them back. Yeah, some more guys coming. The British are going to wheel because they're now presenting on their flank. And there is ranges. You'll see that if they're not within a range, they won't shoot. What's going on with these guys? Hold your position. Contested. Magazine is contested. That's not good. We need to put troops in there. There's all the troops. Get in there. We're gonna lose it. I tell you, the, the uh, fighting strength, morale of a lot of these troops is not that great. You see, they, they, they seem to run quickly. Um, but again, that's 1775 early. 
so. See, we're routing some British there. We'll bring these in. We got a whole bunch of other guys coming. Look at all these guys coming. But right in the battlefield. As you can see, we're in basically hand to hand combat. So we route these other British. It's like we got either surrender. The white flag is surrendered. All right, we're gonna have you stand too. So I mean, there's some historical fact to it because, as it says, you know, the different troops. Stand two. We're going to have these several hundred, I think it's almost 600, if not more. Going into there. Just gonna start pushing forward because we have the numbers now. See, like here's 195 guys and they're running away. Why? Right? Go the other way. Go the other way. These 105 guys, I want them to go after the commander. See, there's a troop coming, 67 guys coming. And you can see the melee going up here. Here's 190 guys running away. Why are you running away? You can't be routed. Here's 230 guys just sitting here. Go get them. Go get them. All right, we'll put you guys there. How are these guys winning? Now we still have my 82 guys. 189 guys running away 175 guys running away the mass hysteria is ridiculous this just shows you the quality of the troops back then Yeah, I like how some of these guys are exhausted, and then you have these other guys. Look at these. These guys are still here, and there's 20 of them. You know? And watch. They will go in. They will go get them. Some guys fight harder than others. That's for sure. Like, here's 189 guys. Go forward. Go forth. Come on now. Let's finish this stupid battle up. I shouldn't say that. It's historically, but... I would like to know if this is what the battlefield actually looked like. Where's the bridge? Wasn't there a bridge they were defending? At some point in Concord and Lexington? Is this what Concord and Lexington really look like? Or is this artistic interpretation? It's my guess. These guys are still holding out. This one you're still sitting there. All 
All right, we're gonna bring these 200 guys and we're gonna charge. And they'll charge too. Typically you don't charge in the early stages of the American Revolution against British troops. They're better trained and in bayonets and everything close quarters combat, but I think I have the numbers on my side. I'm hoping I have the numbers on my side. Regardless, it's going to be a costly battle. It looks like we're going to rob the British here. I'm only going to push them out. Yep. Pushed them out. Good job, guys. So we'll give these guys a hold order. Hold your ground. Come on. Got all these British guys still sitting here. We got to push out. These guys have fought well. This 165 needs to go. This 168. Come on, man. He's pretty shot of here. Hold your ground. So this British are fighting hard. Are seriously, they, those guys got routed? Bunch of pusses. 37 guys falling off. Over 200 guys. What a bunch of caca. Alright, we'll see if we can flank them. I like how they do have the little different uniforms like those helmet, the helmets, hats, and then they have the trifolds. Are you serious? See, this just shows you the quality of British troops versus the American militia, because these British guys just routed over 200 guys, or 60 guys. And that should not should be it. And the quality of the troops just mind blowing. You just gotta watch these troops. Like these guys might actually stop running away you can finish the mission or continue the fight so basically they're saying i have achieved enough or i could continue the fight and we'll just go ahead and finish it so uh my infantry strength was 3100 versus 100 1200 british uh i lost almost half of my guys they lost more than half um yeah we held the magazine and it shows you all these commanders, unit captains, shows you how much each unit lost. So, yeah. Okay.
move on to the next item. Victory. We pushed back the bridge keeper supplies, picked up some loot. Moreover, we now have full regiment of militia patriots willing to fight for us. So we gained a thousand muskets and 315 guys. All right, so we have to capture Providence. So how do we capture Providence? So we have to capture that. So I got to take my troops and move them. So I got to select them all. I'm going to create an army. And we are going to go. I don't know how many guys are in here, but right now I have 962 guys. And Hartford has several, so we are going to click on the unit. They're going to leave the garrison, and we're going to have them, once they select them, have them move on. So as you'll see, this time frame will go and as we capture territory we'll start communication supply routes and you can see we have british ships and an american ship and you can actually do naval battles in this game um but we'll do this and then you see your resource management up here you have general washington you can as you get in you do all you do all this resource management like you would in any other game to me, honestly, this version of Ultimate General feels more like Age of Empires than the Civil War. The Civil War one seemed more about the actual battles of the Civil War, where this one is more about the whole, whole event, the whole war. Like, you know, you need to build this, you need to find supplies, you need to route things. Um, I don't know, to me, it just seems like fancier of Age of Empires. Uh, the Continental Congress Commission is Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. You were selected by the candidates based on your previous military experience. Hope that a leader from Virginia could help unite the colonies. Okay, so Washington. Is Washington still there? He needs to be here too. I don't understand why he's not in his army. Um, come on. See, here's uh, communication. And there will be delays based on... Yeah, I'm not sure why he did not I'm gonna have those guys hold. Uh, Mr. Washington, can you get there, please? So this circles his command sphere, and you can see how many are in the town of Providence as far as British troops, and as we get closer, we get you know, and here's Newport, it's got 240 troops in it, and we have 1345. All right. All right. And you can zoom in on the map. So as you can see it, you know, it's like, okay, I'm trying to show you the combat or capturing a, a town or city or a fort. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's doing this. Uh, usually it'll go into a battle screen. Massachusetts has sworn to militia. There's 450 guys up in the bay. They have Les Leicester, Leicester, however you pronounce that. And usually, you your troops will go in. I'm not sure what's going on here. And those there are supply routes on the roads. Like I said, usually when you get into a battle, it will zoom in. Okay, so they're now leaving. Oh, British 
Boston is like your ultimate goal, and it's huge. Can't tell you how many guys are in there right now. It's thousands. All right. So we're going to take one of these units. And we're going to go into town and capture the town. And Okay, so we capture that. Construct a recruiting house. So again, so now you have to do all these little tasks. So if you're into that kind of thing where you build things and create technology trees and all that, you can do that, right? Town hall. So see, now you got to build. They want you to build a, a recruiting house, but then you have to build, you know, project tree. Army innovation. Army innovation. So... And these are the how many days it will take to do it. Okay. So engineering department. We're waiting on the engineer to be done. So we have 10 more days until he's done. Seven more days until the quartermaster's done. So while we're waiting on that, we're going to take these guys. I want to leave some guys here. I'm trying to see, I don't want to disband anybody. I just want to create another unit, right? That's all right. We're going to take him. What did we do? Freeze up already? So we got to get our militia here. Let's do some minute men. Okay, then we're going to take these guys. Click on them. We're going to leave the garrison. Those guys join us. I don't know why it pauses it, but it does. And we're going to go ahead and hit Newport. See, the numbers expanded because the troops are coming in. So we're going to go ahead and say, Mr. Washington, let's go. We're going to take our troops. You too, Mr. Washington. And the battle begins. I'm not sure where he's going, but... Not sure why I like that, but hey, whatever. Alright, Tyler's here. Tyler, join us. All right, everybody's joined the army. Tuck. So, I'm not sure why it's doing this. Usually, you'll get battlefields. So,
as you can see, we're doing more and more. Okay. Now it kind of formed. So those guys have fallen back. We're going to have Tyler's unit go after them. And you can see Harford has created another several hundred guys, actually. disappear into the woods. Aha. Uh -huh. Some other guys. Research project. All right. Engineering department. here. So we'll have Hartford uh, Militia. Leave the garrison. Move out. And have these guys go in. them to go in. This gives you international relations, Pennsylvania's joined, and so on. So we're going to have Tyler's unit go into Providence. And we're going to start Garrison them. And I'll start repairing Providence. As you can see, it's repairing. Garrison them. And that's repairing those facilities. And then this goes on and on. And you, you know, you go through it. I was hoping to show you. Alright, so it shows we new captured Newport, so that's now ours. And you just continue on and you go through capturing things. And eventually you go to Fort Ty Tyco or Heiko Hernanda. Oh my god, I can't believe I can't say it today. Um, but the ultimate goal is to capture Boston. Uh, they will tell you that you have to capture Boston, and there's thousands of British there. So you just gotta keep hitting them or drawing the So, there you go. All right, guys. I am going to give you my final thoughts on this. Um, let's, let me go out for a minute. Capture, see here it is, Capture Boston. It is like the goal. 
So if I send these guys in, I'm going to send these guys in. Just I'm, I know I'm sacrificing them, but I just want to show you what it's what we're looking at here. Actually, you know what? Let's send everybody. And you'll see the numbers here shortly. It's insane how many guys are in there. No, it's not bad. Six, it says 609. There's more than that. Go, guys. We're going to throw everything we have at Boston right now. It's 4,400 guys. There you go. And for some reason, it's not going to actual battle. Oops. Ah, uh, hey, we got a support smith unit. Why not? Oh, so here you can see a battle icon. We're going to battle. Which we hadn't gotten before. So I'll show you this real quick. And then we'll wrap up this video. It's gone on long enough. But shows you outskirts of Boston. We're going to start. Who has a lot of guns? Yeah. We are just going to have them guard. And we're going to have these guys fall back. these guys bring up all right these guys and you can see it's just wave after wave of British guys and they're flanking us here these guys are already running see this one can go but these guys are already running so as you can see, we're going to get our asses handed to us. And they have cavalry. We have no cavalry. It looks like they have some artillery too, maybe. But yeah, we're just... This would be the quickest defeat. So I'm going to go ahead and go to main menu. Okay. All right, guys. There it is. The low overview of Ultimate General... American Revolution. Let me know what you think. Um, it's one of those games that, like I said, is in early access, so um, there's going to be a lot of work and improvement on it at this point in time. The real important thing is just that. It is early access. So, again, my first impression is it feels more like Age of Empires. You know, you're building armies, you're um, building resources and technology and all that. It almost seems to me that the battles are secondary to the game. Whereas in Ultimate General American Civil War, it was all about the battles and they felt very historically accurate. I've, I felt like, you, you know, the timelines were there, you know, when I'll say Jackson, General Jack, Stonewall Jackson's army was going to meet with Lee or, you know, uh, Longstreet or Grant and Sheridan, whatever the case may be, you, you, you had that sense. I don't know if it's just because there's more 
records of the American Civil War versus the Revolutionary War. Um, the terrain felt more realistic to me. Here, I live in Tennessee now, so I'm right in the middle of you know the Western campaigns of the American Civil War. I, I live roughly two hours from Shiloh, um, Lookout Mountains, two hours from me from the other way, but Nashville is 40 minutes. Uh, Fort Donaldson, which we did a video on, is you know literally 30 minutes down the road. So I am literally surrounded by Civil War history here. Um, so. It's a good way to experience um, one of the genres that doesn't seem to get a lot of attention. I'm hoping when the final result comes out, it will be much more polished. I found a few bugs here and there. The screens will uh, freeze up at times, or when you switch from one map to another, then the overlays uh, just keep moving with your map. They don't stay where they're supposed to. But again, early access, so it's a good start. Um, I just hope that we'll see more of if you're looking for battles, I don't know if this is particularly the one if you're really looking to get the feel of the battle versus just an overall, um, like Age of Empires, truly. So let me know what you guys think, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.